right, what's going on guys? It's Chev. Sorry for not uploading yesterday. I had a busy day. Hopefully I'll be able to actually record like two videos today or some shit, but uh, yeah, I, I have an idea for them. But uh, anyway, new update just came out, patch 1.21. So I guess uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is that ghost uh, bundle that people have been looking for for a while it was shown on some sort of preview thing or maybe this was just i'm not entirely sure but uh so i already bought this pack i bought a couple other things i think uh but anyway yeah so there's that ghost pack we got hard hat back hard hat from modern warfare 3 if you guys remember hard hat if i can find the clip i'll put it right here oh my god i just got tripled I just got tripled. I got no scope triple. Oh my! I got I got tripled. I got trip. I got no scope triple. This map brings back so many memories for me, good and bad. But obviously, I mean, the map itself, by itself, without attaching any of those feelings towards it, how good this map flowed. Uh, and when I played last night, I was only able to play against people that were like on PC and they immediately got the download and they started playing immediately because the people on PS4 didn't get an update for like an hour and a half later or so. Uh, Isle 9, it's a gunfight map. I don't really care for that. Blood Money Quads, most people probably don't care about that, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Uh, they changed the Gulag weapons. Uh, I know I haven't played uh, Warzone in a while on the channel or whatever, but uh, I mean, I I've been playing a little bit of solos. I don't know if they changed stimulus solos back to regular solos yet i have no idea but uh yeah they're gonna find smgs and assault rifles in the gulag so it's gonna be a bit different than the annoying ass uh oh we get the origin 12 shotgun or we get uh some dog shit pistols or whatever now we got some ak's m13s kilo ram striker the armor box uh is a new item in the game for Warzone. similar to the munitions box this item can be used by the entire team to replenish their armor before or after an engagement so I'm assuming you just throw it down like the, uh, you know, ammunition box or whatever. And when your entire team goes and loots it, I don't know if it tops everybody out as far as pieces or if it's only like a couple pieces per person. I I'm sure people could figure that out pretty quickly just by buying it and distributing it to people. But uh, I'm not entirely sure how much is actually going to come out of the armor thing. Like if it's four people and no one has any armor whatsoever and they decide to buy this, would everybody be able to walk out of there with uh, full armor satchels and everything? Like full eight across the board for everybody? I, I don't know. Some COD mobile stuff. And years ago, Treyarch revealed Call of Duty Black Ops to the world and today we're celebrating we'll look back into the original story yep i already commented on that i love this game this is my favorite call of duty of all time as far as multiplayer went uh, i just had the most fun playing on this the most memories the most people that i've played with on top of that the sniping on that game was actually difficult but the overall bolt for the guns weren't dog shit it was more about just being good enough to control the, the weapon and stuff to figure it out so there's br solos trios quads blood money quads so this might mean that stimulus is gone rip stimulus Stimulus solos are gone. I saw so many people going for 30s and 40s on here. That's in stimulus though, so regular solos. Uh. Oh, weapon changes. The Renetti has gotten uh, pretty nerfed, man. Uh, reduced the max ammo reserve, which is, you know, good. It doesn't, uh, you know, make it so the person always has fucking 27 round clips and stuff like that with ammo ready all the time. Uh, burst mod significant hip spread increase. Now, I used this last night, and I'd say that its effective range still close is still not that bad. Small decrease to damage from the burst mod, so you might not be able to one burst people anymore. Who knows? It just says small decrease to the damage. Uh, reduced damage when Akimbo and M13 burst mod are both equipped now this right here will make it so the akimbo spam will be lessened but it's a possibility that the regular just singular burst mod is still pretty decent uh, as far as secondaries go anyway after they nerfed the desert eagle to prevent you from doing a headshot from like a certain a distance or whatever it was I, I forget what it was when they changed the uh the desert eagle i would have considered the desert eagle the best if you were very very good with it anyway right now i don't know foul decrease ads time now does this mean buff decrease to ads time so it should ads faster right they increase ads speed on scar increase ads speed on uh foul uh, lowered ammo count for reload warning on belt fed lmgs it just seems like that would be something under like general fixes not an actual weapon change reduce penalty for holding breath too long with sniper scopes so that's gonna make it so when your character starts having a fucking asthma attack at the end of holding his breath for a couple seconds your scope ends up going all over the place like this and then finally recenters until you can finally 
concentrate again for a period of time. Uh, I'm assuming it's just a reduction to that ridiculous sway once that happens. Uh, most of the time, I'm not holding my breath that long anyway. I usually stop myself before I let the breath get that bad. That's just a habit. Most people that are good at sniping or have used a sniper rifle for a long time understand, you know, when it's coming and shit, you just got the timer in your head. VLK Rogue gets another buff. Increased rate of fire, increased close damage range for the 12 gauge, increased damage range for the 6 inch revolt barrel. No one's gonna use that, but still. Now, the Holger got a giant buff now here's the thing though the, so the issue with the holger was that it's basically an lmg that doesn't do an lmg's job well and it's also an ar that doesn't do an ar's job very well it kind of handled like a heavy ar but didn't do the damage of an lmg whatsoever um so i'm kind of curious it says increased your move speed improve ads time slight recoil reduction bit fire barrel and the ultralight barrel we don't mess with any of these i think uh from what i know you always want the extended barrel on most of these things i don't think the shorter barrels are ever really worth it 30 round magazine uh reduce sprint out time improve ads time faster movement so there's a big handling update for the uh holger 26 so i don't really know how i feel about it overall uh, this buff is good for the gun i guess you know it's not bad or whatever but the holger is just outmatched in so many different places so i i mean maybe being able to mess around with this 30 round magazine no stock and stippled improvement here might actually do something but uh i'm not entirely sure it's also you build it way different depending on multiplayer versus warzone but most of the time you're not messing with either of these barrels so if i were to build this thing with the new shit on it yeah neither of these barrels are worth it and there's no extending range barrels so there's really no point in putting either of these on bullet velocity in turn lowers your damage and also you're just overall effective range then this also gets rid of your bullet velocity and your recoil control at the same time you're basically you're trying to turn it into an smg that's not going to compete with anything close to an mp5 oh no man building it something like this along the lines of this with a compensator or something on the muzzle or whatever or you could even mess around with you know a, a laser or optic or whatever but this putting all of these new things on 30 round mag stippled and the no stock all of that got buffed but the gun's overall damage still doesn't warrant really using it even if it is easier to control you can just use a different gun that's easier to control that still has a better damage profile now i don't know the exact numbers or anything like that so don't quote me on it but that holger was uh, from what i felt like the holger's biggest problem was its damage not how it felt in general it was a combination of all the things but damage is always the most important. Hard hat 24-7. Also in the store, there was a uh, bundle called Trick Shot, which ended up actually selling a new AX50 variant called Flawless Technique. This doesn't have all the attachments that I would put on it, but in general, yeah, it's it's got 360 no scope on it. The, uh, the design is pretty cool. I ran into quite a few people last night that were using the new Holger. I mean, it's not like it's a bad gun or anything. The buffs definitely are going to help it, but now we're going to go into hard hat 24-7. So hard hat was a map that on modern warfare 3 a lot of people looked forward to playing hard hat because hard hat has a uh, a thing in the middle of the map a uh, a tunnel basically that ton and i mean a shit ton of people end up funneling through yeah see this guy's using the holger but i mean look, look at the damage on it though not that good that's like three or four bullets without any armor whatsoever I mean, look at the tunnel. This is the tunnel I'm talking about. See it? Yeah, this was the spot right here. Here in uh, Free For All, Pomage made it, like, super popular right here, where you just stand here and rotate between all three main entrances to the center of the map, and you just hard hold this area. It's super fun to do. Yeah, it's kind of repetitive, kind of annoying. The spot was kind of, uh, you know, ridiculous. People got tired of seeing all the clips that were hit right there, but still, you can't say that that spot was terrible. Being dead center of this map, just the flow is so good, and especially in comparison to how the original Modern Warfare maps play with with all of the you know windows and doors and all that shit yeah by the way they did add doors right there but at the same time it's not that big of a deal I and mean, honestly if anybody goes and opens and closes that door on a regular basis i'll just make fun of them for actually using doors because if anybody has any respect for the original map you wouldn't touch that fucking door you'll leave it open now here's a one big difference between hard hat uh then versus hard hat now overall the flow of the map is still very very similar uh, I actually, I'm really happy with it, to be honest. The remake is beautiful. It's got definitely a different feel to it just due to the lighting. It's more like broad daylight after some rain and shit. It's it's really nice and refreshing. The head glitches, bro. You're awful. You are awful. You are head You're I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't, I can't hear you now, man. 
good one, dude. You can't hear him down there. Holy shit, that means he's at the bottom of the fucking board. Come up with something new. Make fun of his mother's subpar grilled cheese or some shit. You know what I'm saying? The original design ideas, they, they said that they were going to go more towards the classic styles of maps and builds and all that other stuff. And over time, they have. The new maps that have come out, uh, like uh, the sawmill, Candor hideout, things like that. All of those maps kind of start following this guideline of not exactly always three lane, but more so, it's more contained. Sure, it doesn't feel as realistic, I guess, in that sense. It doesn't give you that sense of like, holy shit, anyone could be anywhere. You you know exactly where they're going to be because the map is so uh, simple and it doesn't have all of these uh, variations of different floors and all that other stuff. So it helps a lot with the flow of the map because instead of a person sitting in one spot, random spot like over here or some shit like that, they're kind of enticed to move down a funnel where they know players will be. Instead of worrying about moving forward and not knowing where anyone is, at least if everybody knows where other people are, the flow is good. There's some little minor differences, like this spot right here is a little bit deeper than it was before. It used to be completely flat. Yeah, I've been no scope tripled down that tunnel, so uh, I have a lot of memories here. I've seen like five in ones, all sorts of crazy shit at the end of these tunnels. Dude, why are they just sitting there? What the fuck? They legit are just sitting there. I've never seen people actively just sit there like that. How about y'all move? What are you so afraid of? It's hard hat. Run down mid, you fucking p That's the difference, though, uh, on this map versus the map back on, uh, you know, MW3. Uh, the sniper on MW3, the MSR, was a bit, uh, a bit better. By the way, it's literally gonna be nine months and we're not gonna get a new sniper rifle, so, yeah. It's so unsatisfying and unfulfilling. The car 98 is the best quick scoping thing that you can really put together on this game, but... Alright, well, grind flows a little bit differently or, or something, but, you know, domination, hard point especially, hard point plays god tier on this map it forces people to funnel through so many spots i love it so much grind apparently these guys have no reason to actually push out of their original spawn I, i'm not understanding it man like how the fuck do y'all manage to make this map boring i, I don't understand it's run down mid. That's what the map is made for. Like, run into each other. Who gives a fuck? It's a video game. Like, no way anybody had fun only getting 15 kills. What the fuck? Are we not thinking here? Is the win more important than the fucking fun? It's a pop! The only thing that realistically can increase this thing's range is a monolithic suppressor. And that makes sense. It's crazy. The lobbies that I was in last night, everybody was just running around and shit, not camping for their streaks and all this other shit. And I was dropping like 60 plus on all those games. My first game, I got over 60 kills. And it's just like, okay. Yeah, they're not shipment numbers, but it's not getting 20 kills. Like, what, what are we doing, man? They nerfed the RPG too, by the way, in Warzone. Uh, but it's only, it reduced the damage range from people that are wearing full armor so it's still likely probably going to leave you one shot I, I don't really understand this this i don't know rpgs are still a problem in multiplayer too so i'm pretty sure they only did like some sort of adjustment to war zone with armor and stuff like that multiplayer has an rpg problem man people play objectives by throwing smokes and trophy systems on top of everything and the only way that they defend is not through actual gun skill they only defend by shooting rockets and eod doesn't do enough to help you stay on those points even though they're spamming 20 rockets and i'm not exaggerating uh there was a challenge accepted that i found uh that basically told me to turn on motion blur so i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow wish me luck